Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Chris. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the new Cyanogen 4.2.4. It's not really anything flashy. It's just a normal donut uh, slash cupcake ROM or whatever. It's, it's kind of like just basically like your stock G1, but I mean it has a couple more screens and stuff and I'm gonna show you guys that. Yeah, I just, I, I went on Cyanogen just for the weekend because like if I go out and I'm with my friends and stuff, I kinda need a fast ROM where I can be maybe a little bit buzzed and hey, you know, hey, what's up man? And text someone really quick and not have to worry about like lag or force closes or anything like that. So um, I just needed something a little more compatible with stuff, I guess. So. I went back to Cyanogen, it's kind of cool, there's five screens and stuff and you can heavily theme it and there's some pretty cool themes I have and I'm going to show you guys the ROM I have right now and then I'm going to explain like the, I guess the customizations and the tweaks I've done to it and then I'm going to show you guys how to do it, so let's get to it. Alright, so this is Cyanogen 4.2.4. Um, when you get the ROM, you won't have this lock screen. It'll pretty much be just almost completely stock, like the day you bought your G1. The only difference will be that there'll be five screens and stuff. This has got a really snazzy eclair theme. I'm going to put the link in the sidebar. And um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys actually how to install it on there. It's, it's totally rad. It makes your phone look like a mini droid. These buttons actually don't have any function. They're kind of just for show, but this is a Sterickson lock screen that comes with the theme. Pretty rad, you can adjust the options if you click that little button there. If you go here, you can do your battery, which mine's almost dead. Uh, click on this, it can be your music player. This one right here, um, it can show, if you, set, if you set that up correctly, it'll show like a contact or something if you lose your phone so people can uh, get a hold of you. But, um, can't really do anything with the lock screen, you just press menu to get out of it and just fades out. So, with the theme that I got, it basically turns your phone into like a mini droid or an Android 2.0. It, it changes all the icons, all the Google icons, into something really snazzy. All the like the the cool stuff from Eclair is on there. The app drawer itself looks like the the Droid one or Eclair. The app drawer itself is like compacted, so now there's one, two, three, four. I think before there was four, but now they added an extra row to kind of save some space there. All the apps and everything are, are the same as I guess just like a normal cupcake ROM, with the exception of the apps that I have, like that I added on here myself, but. Uh, the pull down bar is pretty much the same. The top is white. I'm going to show you guys. If you want, you can install a black bar, which will look a lot like Hero. Only problem I don't really like with that is <clears throat> it doesn't really have any colors. So the battery is just kind of white. When it charges, it's white. When it's low on battery, it's white. And it's just the, the bar is black, which is kind of cool. I had that in my other video, but they um, I, I didn't really care for it too much because I like a lot of color and stuff. But they, they upgraded the theme a lot since I last had it, and they just keep adding more and more really cool stuff to it. Uh, there's five screens. This is just the normal the normal Cy Cyanogen 4.2, just the, the launcher or home screen. It has four, four screens for your viewing pleasure. If you install the theme, you can have up to seven screens. And the only problem with that was that I had a lot of like load screens I guess so if I'd open an app and, and then I'd go back to the home screen or the advanced launcher it would just take forever there'd be no icons and it would take like a couple of seconds for the icons to pop up and then the widgets and stuff and the whole reason I left Hero was because I didn't really want to put up with stuff like that anymore and it's kind of silly that you'd have to put up with that in a donut ROM like this so I, I got rid of it um, let me show you guys some more new icons uh, shortcuts widgets folders this is all the new stuff now so no more of that cartoony silly looking donut 1.6 icons it's all like it's all theme now it's all skin to match Android 2.0 so in a way you kind of have Android 2.0 um, in some regards I mean you just have like the cool I have the backgrounds you have the bar you have the new icons and stuff and it looks pretty snazzy the flip clock is something you can get from market it's called weather widgets donate version you can't get the free one if you get the free one it's not gonna have the um, the flip clock. The flip clock you have to pay the dollar to get the donate version. So if you guys want that, go to the market, look for weather widgets. When you click it, this is called a forecast add-on. You can add on to that. So when you click the weather, it'll bring up a cool little hero-ish type without even opening a whole new app or anything. Give you the five-day forecast for wherever you live. Pretty snazzy. Let's try to open up some apps, I guess. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Google Talk. Boom, bam, boom. Pretty quick. Let's open up Chomp. 
Don't want to give away anybody's numbers. Um, calculator. Boom. Alarm clock. Boom. Yeah, so pretty fast. These are all my apps I have. I love it, love it, love it. It's got a cool browser. Browser isn't the one like the normal stock. I guess the normal stock, like when you get your phone, it's it doesn't have the notification tray. You can actually, it's an option. This is actually someone else's browser. It's called like Better Browser or something, but it's pretty cool because it gives you more viewing room and and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Sanjin 4.2.4. It's awesome. It's fast. It's super quick, and I I love it. I'm gonna show you guys how to install everything now. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so here we are at the recovery screen. This is where you're going to go to install everything. So if your recovery screen looks any different than this, I recommend you getting the Aim and Raw Recovery 1.2.2. It's, it's in one of my videos on exactly how to get it and install it. So do that and then come back to this video here. Before installing the Cyan Engine ROM, of course, just like when you first start out flashing any ROM, you're going to Alt W wipe and then you're going to alt e wipe ext partition and then you're going to alt 3 repair ext file systems um, anytime you do a new rom you're going to do that alt w alt e alt 3 and then you're going to flash the rom and the two files that i showed i'm going to show you right now so make sure you do that we are going to start flashing some files here so we want to go to alt a not alt s um, I never use Alt-S anymore because it's just kind of obsolete and silly to rename something to update.zip when you can just do Alt-A and flash any anything, anything you want, any zip file. So we're going to go there, Alt-A, you don't need to rename anything, any of those files. As you can see here, I have a ton of ROMs and then a ton of files for needed to get the Cyan Engine up and running to make it look just like the one I have. So first things first, we're going to flash the Sign Dream Dev Phone, it's HTC's recovery file. It's not a recovery file like the way you think. It's it's a lot different. It's not the recovery like this recovery screen that we're on. It's just something that they call recovery. It's kind of silly or whatever, but it's necessary to get CyanEngine up and running. So you're going to click it, and then you're going to press the green key to continue. Once it's all done, it's going to boot back into recovery, and you'll be at this screen once again. Um, it may see say reboot to finish installation somewhere at, at the bottom. So. You don't really need to do that, just once you flash it, you need to go back into Alt-A again. And you need to flash the actual Cyanogen ROM, so it's update CM 4.2 signed. You're going to click that bad boy. You're going to press green key to confirm. Tap that sucker. It's going to have a file, it's going to take a while, it's going to update it or install it, and after installation files are it's going to be back at this screen once again. So when you guys do that, you're going to click Reboot System Now and let it reboot. Um, it'll show the G1 screen for a while, and then the CyanEngine ROM will be up and running. Um, just stock CyanEngine 4.2.4 out of the out of the box is going to have a couple of like Eclair icons, but it's going to have a different um, notific the app drawer tab, and it's going to look a little bit different. Not all the icons are skinned to look like the Eclair 2.0 theme. Um, just something that he added. Okay, so here we are back on the recovery screen. We just got Cyan Engine up and running, and it should be looking almost, almost Eclair-ish, almost Android 2.0-ish. We're going to flash the theme now. You're going to do that the same way you do any flashing. You're just going to find the file, Alt-A. We're going to go to Eclair theme, CM 4.2.4, version 0.6. You're going to flash that sucker, press green key, boom. I'm not going to press it because I already have it on there. Um, once the theme is all done, it's going to tell you to reboot your system. You're going to click reboot and it's going to show the G1 screen again. And then once you get back to the home screen, you're going to have the new Eclair with the new lock screen and the um, all the icons and it's all super heavily skinned and everything. So I hope this video helped out some of the, uh, the noobs out there. Maybe people that are new to your rooted phone or new to ROMs and all that whole stuff. Uh, I know some people haven't ever experienced a donut ROM, they've just been on Hero the whole time, so I think you're really going to enjoy Cyanogen once you get the theme on there and Google navigation and stuff on there. It's kind of cool, it's like you have a red-headed stepchild droid in a way or something, I don't know. But yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, I'm going to try to put some more videos up soon of other stuff um, whenever I get the time, it's been really busy lately and stuff, so 
I will see everyone soon. Thanks for watching.